Hey everybody, guess what? It's Windows 365 boot time. And with Windows 365 boot, we're going to set up all the prereqs real quick here. So you can see here I'm inside of Intune. I'm going to go to Update Rings. I'm going to create my Update Ring profile because I want to do as much inside of Intune as possible. Windows 365 boot. Settings here don't matter all that much. I'm just going to set some basic settings. You can kind of do whatever you want. The key here is you got to be in dev channel in order for all this to work. You just kind of do whatever you want. Restart checks allow, blah, 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 blah. Hit next. So I'm going to assign, I actually created a group for this specifically. Windows 365 boot, hit select, it's got one user in it, as I would expect, hit create, and so this profile is going to be applied, so when my device enrolls in Intune, it'll get that config. So the next thing is we're going to go to Windows 365, and you're going to see here, it's right there, Windows 365 boot guide. And this is a cool little wizard, and you can feel free to read all this stuff, but this cool little wizard is going to take you through setting the whole thing up. So let's go next. Let's call this Windows 365 boot config. Point updates, who cares? Seven. Like I said, none of this really matters. Nobody really cares. We're just kind of doing whatever we're going to do. So we're not going to push any of that here. And said so the Wi Fi and VPN are completely optional. We're going to choose an existing group Windows 365 boot, hit select. From here, we're going to hit view and create. You can see here it's doing all the creation stuff, pretty cool. It says you see here already, it says the you know, deployment succeeded. It's literally just that simple.